Hello, I am Ahmad and in this video we are going to model the embedded plate we started in this playlist with Peco Designer, one of the companies which is providing the uh, free application for calculation of its products. So now we are going to cross-check our calculation and compare our results with what Peco Designer is calculating. For this, you just need to download Peco Designer product and after installation, you will see this type of uh, window that uh, is Peco Designer. The version is 252, what I'm using at the moment, and there are several options you can select. And for anchor plate that we are uh, going to use, you have two options here, ETA and also Eurocode 1992 for 2018 that we used so just hit the button and then select the program here you will see the peco designer uh, windows of this uh, embedded plate then you need to just accept and if you zoom out you can see that the embedded plate is already on the default in here and the length of the wall seems to be four meters with the height of three meters you can write your uh, information or your company information here I can just write uh, address if you want and then the name and email address if needed uh, the project name for example it can be just a, a YouTube playlist and your email address location contact person comments if needed and here you can see the code which we already selected 1992 for and uh, the next one design mode and normally safety factors dimensions here you can write if you want to have the answers in centimeter or meter but by default it is millimeter forces kilonewton and moments kilonewton meter uh, stress you can select megapascal newton per square millimeter both are the same and then what else uh, phone or the, the basic information project setting and then base structure you can select what kind of concrete you have here for example we had c3037 and you can choose oncrite concrete if you want uh, but i think that uh, uh, it's better not to go with that then here you have the position of the embedded plate at the moment it is front side as you can see you can change it to top side as uh, we had on the top of the wall uh, if it's blinking in red it means that it is not fitted and here also in the other window you can see the overall uh, dimensions by default it's in the center and you do not have enough space for that so for us four meters uh, the length and four meters height the thickness of the wall is 400 millimeter again you can see that it's not still um, fine for that because the concrete cover is not full filled to be 30 millimeter then uh, we can go to anchor plate to select the product here you can see that you have options welda welda r these are um, peco different options of this embedded plate and then for example we use the standard welda and it was 300 300 165 so when you hit that you can see that they are not the the product is not uh, blinking in red anymore because you have enough space for the anchors but still it is not in the center we can just uh, modify that then the plate and the anchors are by default selected according to the product that you um, selected here also you have the dry internal or external atmospheric so it depends on the situation you can just select the other option here is that okay 50 50 means that uh, one side 50 the other side 50 it is in the center but in the other side it is not in the center at the moment you can see that it's 1850 millimeter uh in each side so but for us it was 800 from the center width of the plate 300 millimeters so this should be 650 you just need to adjust one and the other one will be 
uh, adjust it accordingly. So here we are. We can see where the anchor plate stands. All good. And then we can go to a steel section. That's the option that you can select what kind of profile is coming to the top of this plate. Uh, uh, I checked the calculation for that and it might be a little bit tricky here to to use a proper profile that you can see what kind of uh, utilization ratio you would get for that. We will come back to this later in this video. So we just need to find out what kind of uh, column is coming to the top of this plate. For now we can assume that it's a IP240 for example. If you go to eurocodeapplied.com you can find out this um, tables and then IPE let's calculate and here we are IP240 so the depth is 240 with the width of 120 millimeters so here width is 120 and the other one is 240 the thickness of the web for 240 is 6.2 millimeter uh, let's go with 6 and then flange thickness is 9.8 so we keep this 10 millimeter but assume that it is uh, rotated because the mending moment our bending moment is about y-axis in this coordinate so we can just rotate this 90 degree and then we are all set here we can see how it looks like pretty good and then you just need to write down the load uh, cases if you have different load combinations for sure you can just add more loads or you can just simply copy and paste in this table so uh, NED is 120 kN downward so I hit it to be negative here you can see the value is given 120 and also the direction just to cross check if it's completely fine according to your results we have also this is X yes and we need to write down MEX at the moment it's the direction which is shown is positive so if we want to have in the other direction then minus 20 kN meter and the shear force is in y direction and it's positive 10 kN also you can just click here and set the value and here minus 120 then you just need to hit calculate if you have more load combinations you can just add them and you will see all the results for each load combination here it is and you can see that uh, all the results seems to be fine and you don't need to change the embedded plate and that's totally fine to check one by one with the results and also comparing our case you can just go to print and you will see this type of uh, table and if you click print you can see the results uh, and also information so here is well the 300 300 165 and then sj s355 j2 plus n which is by default from peco catalog and then plate anchors and here are the dimensions for the cross section the loadings just to check if everything is as uh, we had in our example now here are the results I can open one by one we can compare our results how it looks like let's go through the calculation of uh, mm, loads it was in video number two of this playlist so here is our results and we can compare with Peiko in our calculation we calculated the force was 15.3 kN and here we can see that it is 15.8 quite uh, close enough and also here you can see that in Peiko designer bolt number two and four are in compression of 5.1 this is a, a different value as far as in the code it is written that you should neglect the effect of compressive force in the bolts which are in compression so then this is one thing and here you can see that it's 15.3 while it is here 15.8 and uh, perhaps the reason is that the effect of the compression of point uh, bolts or fasteners two and four are considered in this calculation the next uh, we can go through a steel failure and pull out failure concrete cone failure and local blowout failure okay let's go through video number three of this uh, playlist 
here is the steel failure calculation and we got 26 percent according to 15.3 and 58.75 kilonewton here we can see that uh, a steel failure is an rds is 58.8 here with the 8.75 pretty close and the only difference is that here we have 15.8 uh, but here we had 15.3 so 26.9 26% quite close the next one is concrete cone failure we determined it also so we can just check h effective 157 scrn three times that the same and c 235.5 the same acn0 we calculated acn0 22 1841 22 1841 the same acn 18 8400 18 8400 and then gamma sn gamma sn 0 0.84 0 0.84 nrkc0 nrkc0 we determined somewhere 95.9 95.9 the same gamma mc 1.5 and nrdc 45.6 45.6 and then utilization ratio 31.6 for us 30.6 67% and here we have 69.4% the difference is because of the tension load calculated for bolts 1 and 3 so here we are pretty close uh, then pull out failure and low carb blowout failure they came to video number four of this playlist pull out failure for pull out failure what do we have here a h okay a h 603.2 603.2 fck 30 k27.5 yes and nrkp 136 135.7 nrdp nrdp 90.7 90.5 and ne the 115.8 15 3 17% and here 17.5 percent so pretty close and then it comes to a splitting failure which we calculated earlier uh, in the same widow so 48 percent and here it is 49.7 percent uh, i didn't find the detail of this uh, and it's just a value here we have full out failure we have local blowout failure concrete cone failure and a steel failure and there is no splitting failure details so that's all and for blowout also we consider that it is not applicable the same as in paper designer so pretty the same now let's go towards the shear load here we can see that the shear load has its own table again three checks and three details here so number five a steel failure and yes here we are ks 54.3 54.3 and then uh, gamma ms 1.28 1.28 then brd 42.4 and then the utilization ratio 5.9 the same as here 5.9 okay the other two uh we had video number six for the concrete edge failure so let's check what we have i or lf here we have some differences yes here c1 is 710 but in peco designer it is considered as 890 and i think that the difference is the distance that has been considered for the entire uh, length from the last row instead of the closest rows so here if we come back to our calculation 710 is the distance from the edge of the wall towards the closest uh, fasteners according to the code but here we can see that it is considered 890 which seems to be from here 710 plus 180 is 890 and it has more capacity so in my opinion it would be less conservative compared to what the code is representing if if uh, the plate is very close to the edge then this might give uh, less than 100 but according to the code it might be greater than uh, 800 as utilization ratio so uh, so we should have some differences for calculation 
here we can see that it comes from C1 710 while here it is uh, 890 ACV for sure it needs to be a little bit different L effective 157 157 ACV so we are KC0 we are KC0 348 yes here we can see the 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 difference versus 254 kilonewton that's that's the main reason that you are uh, using greater c1 and then it comes to acv0 which is with the order of three but here with the order of two uh, again the same acv should be also different accordingly 426 and this is 534 we can see why it is bigger capacity then psi sv 0 0.73 0 0.72 the value is uh, not affecting that much and then psi hv1 psi alpha v1 the rest are ones so and alpha and beta alpha and beta we calculated here 0 0.047 0 0.047 so they are almost the same the only difference is that uh, c1 is taken bigger than uh, what we considered so that's the only difference let's check the utilization ratio here in our calculation utilization ratio is 43 percent and here concrete edge failure is 39 percent or 39.7 so about four percent uh, differences according to our calculation and PECO calculation then the next is uh, concrete pry out we had it in video number seven for pry out which should be the same k8 is taken as two the same as here we can see that and then nrkc nrkc 94.6 94.6 the same and we are the cp we are kcp not given we are the yes it is given 126 okay we have it 126 and then the concrete pry out failure is also 7.9 percent the same as our calculation then it comes to combined tension and shear loads so the first one is for the steel here you can see that the alpha is given alpha is the uh, value for being powered of each utilization ratio 7.6 here and for us seven percent pretty the same and then for the combined shear force and tension in concrete here we can see that uh, it is written alpha equals to 1.5 it means that it has been calculated with this uh, equation 755 which we have the same values 83 percent and if you go with the other one it is more conservative and it should be 92 percent if you look at the uh, documents uh, from PECO, you have two more options at the end. One is a steel plate failure verification. Completely another story. We have to uh, go through it separately. I will try to record a relevant uh, topic later in the near future, hopefully. And also concrete compression failure verification according to partially loaded areas. Uh, I calculated this and I think that Finnish National Annex is not considered in this FJD from PECO designer and it's a typical value from the European standards so that is something that also I would like to go through with the concrete partially loaded areas uh, with a separate uh, separate video that's all from the calculation and also checking the results here you can again uh, print it for um, as a report the only thing is you can just copy and paste as many load combinations as you have uh, it can be five six seven ten load combinations copy paste just uh, remember that consider the uh, load if it is uh, compressive here you should see it is downward here if I just hit it 120 and just click it you can see that uh, it's not working so it's very important to uh, consider the signs and the directions of the loads that is the end of our video uh, we went through modeling with PECO designer 
the same question that we had and we find out uh, what would be differences between our calculation according to the code and according to the given instruction and also Peco Designer current version calculation. It might be different in other versions. For example, two, three years ago, uh, when I calculated, it was a little bit different than it has been changed. And now we are more closer than before. Uh, one would ask uh, why we need to check, uh, for example, with hand calculation when we have such a good application for calculation. Two main reasons. First of all, uh, sometimes you cannot use uh, similar product. Assume that you are working with a client with a limited budget. They want to have everything in there uh, on their own, just making some plates and welding the uh, studs as fasteners, put it in the concrete. So in that case, you need to do it by hand because they are not uh, provided. You have some limited options to change, but not all the options are available for every diameter of the fasteners. Also, it is better to know what the problem is when you know from hand calculation, okay, we have a concrete edge failure, then you know what the problem and where you can fix it. So what kind of uh, uh, modification you need instead of just increasing the size of the anchor plate. These two reasons I think uh, are the most important. And sometimes you can see that, for example, in the calculation of the application, in one option, they are less conservative, at least to my opinion. Then you can decide you accept it or you need to do further uh, a study or calculation. That's all for now. In the next video, we will go through writing the MATCAD code for checking also the same problem with the MATCAD code. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.